this just might be the best car in the world. It's almost July, and so we're going to have Christmas in July. We're going to have a festive theme for the car. So I'm going to click on the reindeer. Listen to what happens. Ho, ho, ho. That does get a bit old, I've got to tell you. But up on the dash, yep, all right, okay. Yep, yep, okay, you can, you can stop now. And there's no way you can turn that volume down, look. No way. But up on the dashboard, there's now a Santa. As we move along, I'm gonna wait for that to finish, right. Up on the driver's instruments, Santa's sleigh has come up. Now, as you go along, you'll notice some little Christmassy things. For example, when you put your indicator on, that's not going to get old, is it? And Santa's sleigh has now come up in the middle of the dashboard. When you put autopilot on or cruise control, as the car acquires other cars in front, they come up as Santa's reindeer. I'm going to quickly show you our route today. There's a very big left-hand corner that is really quite astounding, followed by closely by a right-hand turn into some very wavy roads. And then there's a very tight 15 kilometer an hour bend, uh, and that leads to some more windy roads, and it's, oh, uh, oh. Right, I, I can edit that bit out. This car of course has air suspension which has variable height. Not only is it variable in height, but it also has sport settings. And you notice that as you get moving, there's no sound. But unlike other active cruise control this one will move off when the cars in front move off. Now the car in fact is steering itself. All I'm doing is keeping my hands on the steering wheel. It really is the most eerie feeling to know that the Tesla is driving itself and I'm really just here to make sure that it doesn't bing and bong at me. Because I have Santa activated you can see that the road in front of me is a snow covered Oh my god, I don't have... No, I, I chickened out. I, I just didn't like the fact that the Tesla was taking me through some very windy roads. Oh my god. I've more or less decided that I don't like Jingle Bells anymore. But... Oh dear. Mm-hmm. If I have to put up with this, you do too. <laughs> you can't help but laugh. Because this is so easy to use, the thing about any Tesla is that it quickly becomes completely normal. Completely normal. The only thing that is different between this car and any other car is that you have to charge it. So I've talked about the three chargers. There's a supercharger, a destination charger, and a home charger. And you'll get about 500 kilometers per hour of charge in the supercharger, about 80 kilometers per hour of charge in the destination charger, and about 20 kilometers per hour of charge in the home charger. The base price of this car is around $197 odd thousand dollars and this three engine model with these extras is about $250 odd thousand dollars but I'll put the price up at the end. The thing is, zero emissions cars have to be charged from something and that charge could come from renewables. Theoretically this car could be completely zero emission and don't forget it can be recycled. The real point that you need to keep in mind is that when you go for a service, the things that they service 
are mainly mechanical. They change the oil, they change the spark plugs, the leads and what have you. This car doesn't need any of that. When this car goes in for a service, they rotate the tyres. So unless something is broken, unless the screen stops working or unless something happens, there is nothing in this car that needs fixing. But one thing I can tell you is that the battery is guaranteed for eight years. So you know that for at least eight years, you don't have to worry about the battery pack. In that time, you'd probably use about eight or nine thousand dollars worth of fuel had you been in a petrol or diesel car. There's lots of luxury upgrades in this. For example, the enhanced autopilot is like something like six thousand dollars. But that belies the fact that you're actually buying an ecosystem. L let me explain. When you buy a Tesla, you're not just buying the car. You're buying a central system that is looking after you. The car itself is just the local part of that system. You can you can access the car. <laughs> you can access the car anytime from anywhere in the world with your phone app. My God, this really is smooth. Not only can you unlock your car from anywhere in the world, you can allow somebody else to drive it. So let's just say someone had dropped you at the airport and they were going to come and pick up your car for you and take it back home. You could do it through the plane's Wi-Fi. You could do it at 30,000 feet. I think that's amazing. So I'm going to activate autopilot. So now the car is steering itself and it's the eeriest feeling. So the other thing, sorry about that, so the other thing this car will do is recognize speed signs including LED speed signs. I think that's amazing. You can then just tell the cruise control to do that speed if you like. Now you don't have to actually use autopilot, you can just use normal old cruise control which is active. So it will still keep its distance from the car in front but you're controlling the steering completely. When I first drove a Tesla I was not convinced. I, I was not convinced. I am now a convert. I think this is, oh my god, I indicated and that changed lanes by itself. The Tesla changed lanes by itself. My hands were just resting on the steering wheel. Oh my god. And in a bit of oh my god, I'm just going to deactivate the um, cruise control now and take back control myself. just cracks me up. Because I can't use any of the sound from footage the other day, I can still show you vision. And this is what happened when I was entering a 110 kilometer an hour section of freeway. I engaged Ludicrous Plus through the menu. Now you can also access Ludicrous Plus through the normal menu. Oh my god, that is driving me completely potty. Oh, now that's because that beeping was because it thought I didn't have enough room to pull up from the car in front. No, seriously. The Tesla is paranoid. It is paranoid to the point of OCD. But by god, by god, it is good. The steering just has that slightly ethereal, otherworldly feeling. I wouldn't call it direct exactly. But I don't think that's what this car is about. The handling is superb. The ride is great, even on these large wheels. 
but that air suspension irons all but the worst of the potholes out. And what's even more amazing is this sunroof, which I shall now open. You can either open it through this menu or you can open it through the steering wheel buttons. Is glass. I can wind it further open or I can go into the menu, select sunroof and close it. <laughs> Don't you think that's amazing? I just think that's amazing. Once closed, no glare comes through that. It's just astounding. You can do other cool things too, like if your Tesla is parked in the sun and you've had a day at the races or a been out to lunch or whatever, you can sign into your phone and turn the air conditioning on in your car so that when you get back to it, it is cool.